Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we are talking about P0137 fault codes. A P0137 code is going to read O2 or oxygen sensor circuit low voltage bank one sensor two. Ultimately what this is saying is that the bank one downstream oxygen sensor is reporting a lower voltage than it should be. The ECM either sees this voltage being reported as the engine running way too lean and saying hey we might have a problem from the engine running too lean or it realizes that the voltage is so low that there probably is some type of circuit related issue to where we're not getting accurate voltage readings. So it throws the P0137 code and a check engine light to let you know that there's a problem you should look into. In this video, we are gonna walk you through everything about P0137 codes from the signs and symptoms that accompany it to a general overview of oxygen sensors and how they work. And then from there, we'll talk about the most common causes of P0137 fault codes and we'll finish it off with a diagnostic checklist that you can walk through to find the issue and fix the P0137 engine code. So oxygen sensors ultimately measure the amount of oxygen that's within your exhaust gas and we have two sensors on each bank of the engine in your typical V style engines and so when you see sensor one that's referring to the upstream sensor and then sensor two which this code is about is the downstream sensor. What these sensors do is read how much oxygen is in the exhaust gas before it passes through the catalytic converter and then how much is there after it passes through the catalytic converter. Ultimately what we're then able to do is gauge how efficient the cat is and how good of a job this engine's doing at reducing emissions. So these sensors are used normally to tell when you have an issue with your emission systems and an issue with the catalytic converter. But in this case when the downstream secondary sensor is reporting an extremely low voltage what that means is that this sensor is reading a completely unrealistic amount of oxygen in the exhaust gas. So of course, after the exhaust gas passes through the catalytic converter, there are still some fuel particulates that are in there. And so ultimately when we're getting extremely low voltage, that's this sensor saying, hey, you know, the oxygen levels in here are like 90% plus, which is just unrealistic. There's not that much oxygen in it still, even after passing through the catalytic converter. So ultimately this means that we have some type of a problem either with the sensor or an actual problem where there's way too much oxygen around this sensor. This leads us to two main causes for it. Before we talk about those causes, I wanna talk just a little bit about the symptoms that you'll get because the symptoms is another easy way to help point you towards what the cause might be of a P0137 code. So from a symptom standpoint, you generally don't get any symptoms with the P0137 code. And that's because the downstream oxygen sensor purely monitors and reports back to the engine's computer. Computer. The ECM or engine computer does not use the reading from this to actually change fueling or fuel control. And so whenever we have a bad reading from this, the engine just goes and throws you the P0137 engine code and a check engine light to let you know that you need to look into something. But because it's not using this to actually change the way the engine's running, you don't usually get any symptoms with it. The reason that I wanted to mention this before we go talking about causes of this engine code is if you're getting a bunch of symptoms, like your engine's idling very poorly, you have really bad fuel economy, you're having sluggish or hesitant acceleration or any other type of performance related issue, then there is a chance that this P0137 code is actually just an effect of an other underlying problem and that other underlying problem is causing the P0137 and you don't actually have an issue with the sensor itself. With that being said, let's go ahead then and talk about what the common causes are. So in this case, the sensor is basically saying to the engine, I'm either having electrical issues or two, there's way too much oxygen here. That points us to two things. First, the oxygen sensor itself. The oxygen sensor could just be failing. There could be an electrical issue. The wiring could be cut up or chewed up. You could have too much dirt or debris around the electrical connection for it. And so we could have either a failing sensor or some type of issue with the electrical wiring that goes to that oxygen sensor. And then the second thing is we could actually just have way too much oxygen right around the sensor. And what that would point us to is an exhaust leak. If you have an exhaust leak that occurs before for this oxygen sensor, then 
outside clean oxygen would be getting passed up into the exhaust system and then the sensor would be reading that. Ultimately, if you have an exhaust leak, this is a very common code that you'll get with it. And in this case, the sensor isn't giving a bad reading, but there's so much clean oxygen going into the exhaust that the reading is just extremely low. So ultimately, the sensor itself or an exhaust leak in some rare cases, you could have a bad catalytic converter or you know a number of other issues where your engine's actually running way too lean. But like I mentioned, you're gonna get symptoms with all of those. And so if you only have a P0137 code and you don't have any symptoms going with it, then it's either an exhaust leak or it's an issue with the sensor itself. So with that being said, here's a list of things that you can follow to go ahead and determine what the actual cause is and make sure you get the problem fixed. Number one, go ahead and clear the code and drive around and see if it comes back up. It's possible that the code just got a little wonky for a second and sent a bad reading out and that there's actually nothing wrong with it and you don't have an exhaust leak. The best thing to do is to clear the code, especially because you can drive around on this engine code. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. If you have an exhaust leak, you should fix it. And with this code, you will likely fail an emissions test if you have to get an emissions test done. So it's important to try to fix it, but go ahead and clear the code. And then if it's actually a problem with a sensor or an exhaust leak, the code's gonna come back. So the code coming back tells us, okay, there's an actual problem here. Now let's go ahead and start looking into it. From there, of course, check to see what other codes you might have. Assuming the code comes back, you do have a problem. There's no other symptoms that point to anything else. From here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is locate the oxygen sensor and just inspect it. Follow the wiring to make sure you don't see any issues with the wiring. Look at the electrical connector on it. Make sure that doesn't look super dirty or oily or gunked up with anything. And if it does, go ahead and try cleaning it, unplug it, clean out the connector, plug it back in. If there's no issues with the wiring, everything on the oxygen sensor looks totally fine, then what you'll wanna do from here is check for exhaust leaks. The best way to check for exhaust leaks, honestly, is just to get underneath your car with the engine running and feel around the exhaust to see if you feel air coming out where it shouldn't be. And I will say, do not touch the exhaust while you do this because of course it is very hot. So it's best to do it when you just started it up on a cold start so that the exhaust isn't super hot. And then you can get your hand, you know, around where all the connections are, where the pipes meet each other, because that's most likely where a leak is gonna be coming from. Assuming you don't see anything wrong with the sensor, you can't notice any exhaust leaks, then there's a decent chance that the sensor itself has just failed internally and there's something wrong with it. At this point, you can try to test the voltage of the oxygen sensor. If you're a little bit more advanced from a diagnostics level, you can use a voltage tester to test voltage and see if the sensor's actually working properly or not. But ultimately at this point, the easiest and best thing to do is just to go ahead and replace the oxygen sensor since that's likely to be what the problem is. Ultimately, if you replace the oxygen sensor and you're still getting this code, one, try clearing it first, but two, then that's probably a telltale sign that you do have an exhaust leak and maybe you just didn't recognize it or didn't notice it while you were under the vehicle. So that covers it for P0137 fault codes. These are generally pretty easy to diagnose and ultimately it should be pretty easy to notice whether you have an exhaust leak or otherwise it's probably just an issue with the sensor. So if you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for all the other diagnostic and automotive content we have.